Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing well. After a long time, I am making video on a really re important topic because of the current scenarios is going on uh, in PhD life in most of the PhD scholars. I mean, all of you have heard some recent news which also saddened me a lot. So I thought of making some video so that in this tough situation if you can get some positive feedback out of your life first of all uh, those who are going to do PhD are going for rigorous preparation to get selected into a good institution so before joining your PhD you have to uh, know some important points you have to ask some important questions to yourself what I would suggest, ask yourself these five questions with, uh, what I am going to tell you in the next two or three minutes. First of all, if you have already planned that you want to be in the academia only, you want uh, to be a scientist from your let's say bachelor degree days or master degree days and or you want to be a assistant professor, you want to see yourself in the coming years as a teacher in some colleges or some research institute doing research all these things so if you are highly motivated and because of this motivation you are taking this decision then uh, this is well and good but uh, before this in India uh, there is uh, very few awareness about this uh, PhD program before joining what are the things you need to consider, what is, are the sacrifices that you need to make as a PhD scholar and then only you will uh, achieve your success. And before going to this video, so I will just say ask five of these questions if you really want to do PhD. So before joining PhD, you need to ask this very important five question to yourself. So let me tell you what is this question and if you get a yes answer from inside of your ha heart then only you do join your PhD. First of all very often after finishing your master degree or any dual degree program out of motivation or any other reason we want to do PhD. But uh, before joining you ask this question first of all you are you highly motivated enough to join this academia? and just only you are not joining this PhD because of the stipend you will be getting and that is more than the average salary of India. So if the answer is no that you are really highly motivated you are not joining PhD just only because of the limited years of funding then you can join. Then second thing is do you find interest only in your subject rather than anything else? Like if you are interested in your subject that you have done in your BSc or MSc and you want to pursue your career in that subject in that field only, then yes the answer somewhat 20 to 30 percent is positive feedback that you can join your PhD program. But still there are really important questions that is remaining left I am telling you. Third thing is, are you ready to accept the job insecurities out there because the competition level is very high out there. Because after finishing your PhD, if you are wanting to apply to some institution for a job, then you will face certain problems like the number of opening position to the number of PhD scholar ratio will be very low. So the competition is pretty high out there. So job insecurities is always be there. So if you can accept that and if you are aware of this reality, then you can join. So you have to fight. You need to perform the base out of yourself and sometimes it will not be sufficient also. So if you are really ready to handle all these kind of pressure, then you are certainly welcome. Fourth important point is this is also something important what I, I also feel really this is from my personal experience. Are you ready to handle all kind of social pressure? 
like your marriage your uh, age and uh, people in your neighborhood can say that yeah still you are getting age i mean why you are studying so much at this at uh, this age because people are not obviously most of the people will not be around you they will not be enough educated to understand your situation and how a phd program takes time so in that case you have to you have to defend others i mean this is also an important point to point to recover so if you have no job pressure i mean everybody has job pressure but if you somewhat you have you have you don't have a job pressure for a limited number of years you are not limiting yourself that at this age i have to be successful at this age i have to get a job then i think you should join but if there is job pressure there are other options after msc there is so much scientific positions and uh, many other important fields are there wh where you can really uh, succeed and get a job in a few years of your preparation then uh, second thing is are you ready to work tremendous pressure are you uh, ready to have sleepless, sleepless night because of because everything is not bread and butter here you have to work hard you have to give your valuable time and most importantly you need to be focused if focus is not there and external things are there then it will be really difficult for you to continue this phd program so if you are okay with this all five points that i have discussed then you are ready and you are welcome in this field so this is the sentence i wanted to say all the aspirants who are going to do phd and who are really excited about their field and uh, because of the current scenario as you all heard of people are uh, people are having tremendous pressure in his phd life see first first of all to all the phd scholars throughout india out there i just wanted to say they might uh, agree with me or not see there will be a lots of team and just pressure you need to handle it properly at some certain level you can ha handle and if the pressure is too much high you need any sort of counseling or medical help better but it's manageable if you are okay with yourself so i wanted to say give some time if you really feel pressure after trying so hard you are not getting your result give some time to yourself and ask yourself what are the mistakes you are doing and uh, progress further like uh, my seniors or supervisor they always used to say don't just limit yourself that you have to achieve this goal in certain certain years don't feel pressurized result will come after hundreds thousands of trials it, it may take for some people also but some results it will come so you have to be patient and you have to achieve small small goals you need to divide your work in small small goals don't think too much that after this year if i don't get any get any result then what will happen to my career what will happen to my phd because if you limit yourself in a time frame boundary then you will be pressurized more and if you if you in a pressure cooker like situation then you can't give the best based in you in that field so pressure is always be there you make the pressure your companion this talks what i am saying it uh, it, ma it might say that uh, i am uh, i am just uh, starting my phd not starting already two and more than two and a half year so maybe some of the people can say it's very early to talk about all these things but one thing i have learned from this experience what i can say that if you if you set your target very high na then you will be you will be the pressurized most you need to understand your level and you, you need to as i told you need to achieve your goal in small small steps then only you might succeed and you can cope up with the situation in further then uh, second thing is people become so much depressed in phd that they end that they end their life as the recently we are hearing for me 
what i can say that i am making this video out of this uh, situations only what people are facing and some motivation i wanted to give so that people can survive even there will be some pressure first before committing any this any this uh, cruelty task to end your life i would say ask yourself two questions you you have been come to this world because of your parents right and they they are always there to help you out even if you are in pressure you call your family spend some time there you come back again join the lab you do your work that how it will go on because if you end your life in that way then what rewards you are giving to them because they did no mistake in bringing up you here right then at least think of those persons when your presence will make them happy and your absence will hurt them the most in this world i am telling you so if you can cope up with this situation if you can't can't handle the pressure you leave your job but don't leave your life man because that is much pressures to pressures than anything else to your family because you will not really realize after living this world how much pain your family will go through in recent days i have heard so many news as in some some of my friends this friends did like that he he died in this way so all this all these things i mean say it's really hard but you still need to struggle at some point if you feel that you are too much exhausted it's really hard for you to continue this program for me the answer is leave it but don't leave your life and someone is really said that the brightest mind suffer the most because they they expected too much this thing i will achieve this goal i will have to achieve without this my life is meaningless if that is the situation that is very dangerous so we have to control our pressure our thoughts we have to share this with our friends with our near and dear ones spend some time you need to wait and watch what others are doing how they are succeeding and bring out the positiveness out of it find your difficulties try to ease them try to find solution so give some time to yourself as well not just only spend hours of hours doing rigorous work if you do that your mind will be blank so at some time we need to ease our thoughts we need to take a rest as well then only the best in you will come out so in that way how i feel it so what happens most of the people join phd because of the handsome stipend they will get some years it will be sustained to their family so if you are really this is a very important point i'm telling you because most of the people did the mistake in the beginning if you don't do the mistake in the beginning then you will be in the right track so in in that way your phd career going going to survive out all the situation so i request all of the friends out there all my fellow phd scholars we are working tremendously great they are great students i know if they feel down at point of sign i request all of them to at least share your feelings with your near and dear ones so that they at least know what is happening with you because they are there they will be there for the first time to help you out and help you cope up with the situation then only you can survive otherwise you will not so mental health is very much important for yourself without mental please you can't do any work i'm telling you so at certain level you have to accept like some pressure is needed to success in life as well but don't that don't just let that pressure dominate you completely move you one it degree around so that you uh, you take a wrong decision and you do some mistake in it so i don't know how much this thoughts will be helpful for others but 
I was really disturbed hearing about this news recently. So I thought, yes, everybody is pressure, is in a pressure, but we need to work in that environment. Sometimes pressure is healthy, that I always said. It will also help you to bring out the best in you. So be happy, always be, try to free your mind, give some time to yourself, spend some time with your friends and family and get back to work and when you are at work you get focused. So you can schedule this much work I can, this much pressure I can handle, this much work I can do in a day. In that way if you divide your schedule then I think your PSG life is not going to be that much tough. I know job insecurity is that kind of thing will always be there but if you are best, if you are good at your work and if you do sincerely, somewhere someone with my, will might recognize you and you will succeed. It can take time that nobody knows. So it is a process that is unpredictable. So you have to accept this unpredictability then only you can move on in this career. So that's all I wanted to say this. I know situation is tough out there. So keep patience and keep moving on. So bye bye for now. Maybe <laughs> I will meet in other videos in future as well. So thanks. Bye bye.